on day 35 of the kitchen renovation. That's 35 calendar days, not 35 work days. We've been waiting for the cabinets for a few days. Uh, the manufacturer Morales, or if you want to say the name in French, Mirali, has been giving us dates and not following through. I want to make a little vlog because future me is not going to remember the details. Also, I don't have great footage for today. Um, when we signed the contract for the cabinets, uh, it was March break and Morales gave their lead time as five weeks, which would have been two weeks ago. Our goal was to get the renovation done by May 12th, um, the Friday before Mother's Day. I was expecting company that weekend and if we couldn't be done in time with an intact kitchen, then I would start the project afterwards. Five weeks for the cabinets would have worked but Morales was slow getting back to us with a final delivery window, but when they did, it was seven weeks. So last week, it was later than we hoped, but our designer and contractor said they would get scrappy and, and make, make it work. They would slot things in. As time passed, we were given the, a delivery date, Friday, April 28th, so the last day of the delivery window. Um, our designer, Amanda, scheduled an installer for Monday um, and scheduled um, someone to do the countertop template the following day, Tuesday. Um, the lower cabinets needed to be installed along with the sink so the template could be made. And after that, it's five to 10 days to manufacture the countertop. We could still make May 12th, but everything had to hit just right. Fast forward to delivery time. We were supposed to receive a shipment notification last Wednesday, um, and we didn't, which meant it was unlikely that we would have the cabinets by Friday. So here's how Morales works. Um, they're located in a suburb of Rimouski um, called San Anacle, and they bake, uh, make a big shipment of multiple um, jobs, and they send it to a warehouse in Toronto. And from that warehouse, they're sent out to their destinations like my home. We're told things like, uh, your cabinets didn't make the truck on Wednesday, but it will be on the first truck out on Thursday. Um, you'll still get them on Friday. Friday slipped and became Monday. And then they promised that we would be the first delivery from the Toronto warehouse on Tuesday morning. Meanwhile, our designer was scrambling to make sure that we still had an installer despite the movement in dates and that we would still have a countertop templating appointment. Tuesday morning rolls around, I get up and nobody shows up to make a delivery. Uh, our contractor Danny calls to see how things are going and there are no cabinets and he had some choice words. Our installer Sal shows up and there are still no cabinets. Sal starts bringing in his tools, starts some prep work, pulls out his lasers and um, sets up some baselines, uh, measures where cabinets are going to go. A man shows up with a delivery. Is this the cabinets? No, it's Tomas, the fellow who's repairing our leaded glass. He's done with the repair and he's bringing it back. We were not expecting him. Apparently he called and wasn't able to get through, so he came anyways. So he uh, started putting the doors and windows back. And this is great, we're, we're happy to see him. Um, and while he is putting the windows back in, people start walking in the front door with kitchen parts. Um, we put some parts in the nook, which we had held as a staging area. We had some in the front hall. We had some in the front hall closet and some landed where they were gonna go in the kitchen because Sal already had marked out where to put them. And this is where we are. Um, installation is underway. Um, I don't know if we're gonna be ready for a templating appointment tomorrow. I don't know if there is still a templating appointment tomorrow. We are missing a sink, which needs to be installed prior to templating. Um, it doesn't need to be hooked up to plumbing, but it needs to be inside the cabinet, sitting where it's going, the way it's going to be so that the template is accurate. Based on years of experience doing projects in tech, I don't see us finishing by May 12th. And I'm okay with that. I'd rather take a little extra time and get the job done right. I've made alternate arrangements for our guests. We wanna focus on getting the best long-term outcome. 
because we're not doing this kitchen again. And with the amount of attention to detail that everyone involved in this project has been putting in, um, there's no need to rush things. That's where things um, are at today and we'll see how things go over the next couple of days.